tutorial is brought to you by PostBargain.com. 3D props at bargain prices. In this tutorial, I'm going to expand on a technique from a previous tutorial that I made on poly painting. I think you'll find that this technique will make your texturing experience much more fun and less stressful. The idea is simple. Take a simple, low resolution textured object and transfer the texture to a high resolution object. The benefit of this technique is that you can take complex and repetitive textures and apply them easily to a low resolution model. The less polygons you have in your UVs, the easier it will become to apply your texture correctly. Then, it is just a matter of transferring it across to your high resolution version. So, we'll start off and you'll see the process unfold. I've loaded up a high resolution mesh that I wanted to texture. I know, it's not a fantastic model, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll stick to this four-legged abomination. In Lightwave, I created this really low resolution mesh. I tried to get the mesh as low as possible, but I also made sure that I kept the key points cut when necessary, like at the joints and at the curvatures of the body for example. This is important because you want to keep as much control of your mesh as possible. The mesh also needs to loosely wrap around your high resolution model. Once the low resolution model is unwrapped and has UVs, you can start making the texture. In Photoshop or any other paint program, you can now create your seamless texture. I cheated a bit and just baked the honeycomb pattern in Lightwave. But because the model is at a low resolution, fixing texture seams is much easier. There are a number of different ways of fixing the seams of your texture, but just stick to what you know works best. Next, we import the low resolution mesh into ZBrush, making sure that the UVs are active. With your high resolution model active, open up the subtools palette and append it with the low resolution model you just imported. Before we transfer any textures though, we need the low resolution mesh to match the geometry of the high resolution model. This is important because if we transfer the texture at the low resolution state, the result will probably be quite distorted and weird. So, with your low resolution mesh active and the high resolution mesh in the background, Click on the project all button to wrap your low res mesh onto the high res one. Oops, don't forget to subdivide your low res mesh a number of times first before you use project all. Now that the two meshes match, we need to set things up for the texturing. First, make sure that colorize is set in the texture menu. Then, turn off mRGB, Z add and Z sub. Set the material to the fast shader and fill both objects with white. When you have done all that, select your subdivided low resolution mesh and import the image you plan to transfer as a texture. Once you load the image, it should wrap correctly around your object. However, it's still just a texture image. We need to transfer the texture to colored polygons. So, in the texture menu, Click on the color to texture button so that you now have a poly painted version of your mesh. Now, swap over to the high resolution mesh and, with your low resolution mesh in the background, click on the project all button to transfer the colors across. Again, make sure that Z add and Z sub are turned off as we just want to transfer the colors across. And that's it. You should now have a seamlessly textured model with less effort. Of course, you may need to touch things up manually a bit, but you'll find that you've saved yourself a huge amount of time by using this technique. Now you don't really need to restrict yourself to exact shapes and forms. In my poly painting tutorial, I use a simple strip of polygons to transfer a snake tattoo onto an arm. This means you can pretty much use any shape you wish to transfer your texture. Here's a basic human figure I brought into ZBrush. I decided that I'll give him a wooden bark skin, but just around his side. Maybe it could be a design for a wetsuit or a racing outfit or something else. The proxy object I'll be using for the transfer is just a simple subdivided plane, poly painted with a simple bark texture. At a low resolution, it's easy to just wrap the plane around the areas I need, 
almost like wrapping a photo around your object. Then the poly painting is transferred using the first technique in this tutorial. The good thing about this technique is that before you take your texture and turn it into poly painting, you can go to absolutely any subdivision level and adjust the polygons so that the texture fits to how you want it. Also, this technique is reusable for any future models. Imagine you have created a great low polygon head with full color texturing. The next time you make a new head model, you can easily apply this technique to transfer the textures across, including any diffuse, specularity, transparency, and any other texture maps you may have created. As long as your original texture transferred model is reshaped to fit the new model, this technique will successfully save you massive amounts of time. Well, this has been another tutorial brought to you by PoserBargains.com. I hope you enjoyed it and that it makes your 3D art experience a much better one. Thank <music> you.